This week, MSMEs are concerned about the new labor codes and their implementation. On the other hand, the Indian Commerce Ministry is planning to prolong the interest equalization scheme for pre- and post-shipment rupee export credit for an additional five years. Next up, the government has been serious about food safety for Indians. That's why FSSAI and Delhi's Food Safety Department have come up with an app. Hello everyone, this is Priyanshu Chaudhary for SME Futures and here are the top stories for this week. The new labour codes like the Industrial Relations Code, Code on Social Security and Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code were approved in 2020. Yet, the necessary rules for their enforcement have not been developed and communicated since then. MSMEs are concerned that the new labour codes might impose heavier financial obligations such as employee insurance, gratuity and higher basic wages. Of worry is the transition from minimum wages to livelihood wages, potentially raising the basic wage by up to 40%. The ambiguity surrounding compliance and regulations has caused MSMEs to hesitate in adopting the new labour codes. MSMEs recognised that the labour codes offer simplified exit and layoff options, potentially streamlining business operations. These provisions permit industries with less than 300 employees to terminate staff and cease operations without government clearance, offering enhanced flexibility in hiring workers for defined durations. The Union Cabinet previously approved an additional budget of Rs 2,500 crore to sustain the interest equalization scheme until June 30, 2024, aiming to address the funding gap and Gloucester export activities. This initiative enables exporters from specific sectors and all MSME manufacturer exporters to access rupee export credit at competitive rates through subsidies provided under the scheme. The scheme currently offers a 2% interest equalization benefit on pre- and post-shipment rupee export credit to specific merchant and manufacturer exporters and 3% to all MSME manufacturer exporters, with benefits now kept at Rs 10 crore per annum per import-export code. February saw India achieve its highest monthly exports, largely due to the increased shipments of engineering goods, electronic items and pharmaceutical products. Emphasizing regular testing, the initiative introduced FSSAI's Food Safety on Wheel, a mobile app featuring advanced rapid testing kits capable of detecting around 50 pesticide residues in various food items. These tests provide swift results, facilitating prompt actions to uphold food safety standards. Traders were encouraged to utilize the app for testing processes to ensure product safety and quality. Participants were educated on the risk associated with artificial ripening and wax coating of fruits and vegetables using unauthorized chemicals as well as the advantages of organic farming. Information on available food product testing laboratories in Delhi and nearby regions were also shared. The event emphasized the collective responsibility for food safety, promoting the message that food safety is everyone's responsibility. It highlighted the essential role of all stakeholders in the food supply chain in advancing a healthier India. These were the top stories for this week. Keep tuned in to SME Futures every Friday for more such updates.